Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some squad deathmatch from Bad Company 2. In this video, I want to kind of <coughs> comment on a new story from Video Gaming 24-7. The reason being uh, that one of their new stories kind of puzzled me a little. Not the new story itself, but what it reported on, more, uh, more or less. Uh, the title was, Report, Sony Pulls Motor Storm Apocalypse Release in New Zealand After Christchurch Earthquake. <laughs> so, the earthquake in New Zealand uh, is, a, of course, a tragic event. And I'm not in any way undermining that by no reason and it uh, and it killed 113 people and that's no that's no good thing obviously the thing however is that i think it's a bit strange that sony pulls its release of a game because of an earth earthquake now mind you this is a game where uh, you're racing but the environments are very often falling apart or it's, you know, it's the apocalypse. So there's, uh, there's earthquakes, there's cata catastrophes, there are things falling down, buildings are falling into ruins and it, it is a really devastating thing that's happening around you while you're driving. And this kind of, it kind of just puzzles me that Sony would pull the release of a game because of uh, an, an event that they don't have anything to do with. This game has probably probably been in development for like, uh, a, well, I would guess at least a year, if not two years, and they could not foresee when it started development or even started planning on a motor storm. A motor storm apocalypse that it was um, that, w that there was going to be a earthquake on New Zealand right about what's happening in the background right now is uh, some friends of me just jerking around oh poor choice of words well what I was saying Sony couldn't anticipate the uh, catastrophe of an earthquake over two years ahead so, uh, how could anyone be a friend of a game that's about an apocalypse, really? It's, it just, it just it doesn't click with me. It's like, um, it's like releasing a movie about a, a war movie or a soldier movie while the United States was in war with the, with Iraq. It's like, why why it's not that any worse oh my god we're making a movie about a war when we're in war oh no or it's like um um uh, how about um uh, home front being released where you're on um the um revolting side or the revolutionary side of a occupation um and that game is going to be released just a month after the revolts and, and dem uh, demonstrations in Egypt. So I, I'm, I'm, I, I might be insensitive here. I might be, you might be thinking that I'm uh, just, well, just plain stupid, perhaps. I don't know, but my point is, I don't mean to be. I'm just, I am having problem kind of seeing the... Um, the the consequence or rather the reasons for actually just pulling this game from release i mean i don't i don't really see the point as the game was never intended to be insulting and yes some might, might find it offensive i don't know why but there's always some of them i mean someone's getting offended by anything i mean really so you're pulling a video game because of a natural disaster? I just find it really, really odd. Um, so that's kind of just what I wanted to um, to, to <laughs> release my uh, or really just get out of my head because um, it, it it was just a bit strange in my opinion. But you know, 
I'm guessing Sony has to do it because of publicity or something like that. So, I can see that I have some time left of the video, about one and a half minute or so. So, I might as well just talk a little about the uh, gameplay that we're watching here. Um, so, in the past days, I've been really experimenting around, actually, in... Uh, in Bad Company 2. I've been playing Conquest quite heavily uh, because I felt like that's the best um, game mode and it wasn't until I really starting started to watch a lot of BC2 commentaries that I actually realized that Squad Deathmatch actually might be some fun when you actually are any good at the game which I wasn't before. <laughs> so I've actually playing a, I've been playing a lot of Squad Deathmatch, just for the heck of it, and just for fun, because it's a bit more fast-paced than Conquest, because Conquest can become really, really slow-paced at times, especially if the teams are stacked. So, look at this. I even watched a grenade been being thrown, and I still run back to it. How stupid is that? So, <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of squad deathmatch, and I've also been playing some um, rush actually, because now that I'm actually able to do some damage, uh, not only to the um, MCOM stations, but also to the other team by killing off enemies, it's actually quite fun. And, um, yeah. Well, that's the end of the gameplay. It's the end of, end of the video. And it's the end of my voice. Not permanently, just temporarily, until you start another video by me here on YouTube. Or if you know me in person and listen to me when I talk in person. Well, I hope to see you next time. Snuckers.